Welcome to CSSBoss.com. I'm Andrew Kayser, and today we're going to talk about setting up multiple domains on your single WordPress blog while remaining, uh, you know, link integrity. Now, what that basically means is, hold on. Okay, so when you, like, let's say, like right now, we got a few domains pointing to CSSBoss.com. 421 Entertainment was a our old domain name that we're no longer using, so we just kind of pointed it towards cssboss.com for the sake of you know saving putting the traffic where it needs to go however when you come here to 421entertainment.com anytime you hover over a link you can see down here that it still goes to cssboss.com which is fine for most cases but you know when there's the case where you don't want it to be you want it to be 420 421entertainment.com slash whatever and you want all the links to be the same we got a quick little tutorial here on how to do that so the first thing we're going to do is log into the WP admin and you'll see real quick that when we try to do that it takes us to CSSBoss.com so once we're logged in what we're going to do let me come over here and get into um, CSSBoss real quick so we come out here to our plugins and we're going to install a new one, add a new one. And it's called multi domain. And this thing is pretty cool. I wish I was smart enough to write this kind of stuff. Okay, so we're going to click OK on that. And we're going to activate the plugin. So now that the plugin is activated, there's no, there's only one thing to configure and that is the config.php inside of that now what you do is you come here to the editor right here or if you have FTP you can log in and do that I was going to do that but we'll just do this and we'll come down here to multi-domain select hit select and then you uh, click on the config.php now it gives you this example right here and what we're gonna do is just delete all these little comments and we're gonna change these over to 421 entertainment dot com now you only need to do this for the additional uh, domain names you don't need to do it for the original so I don't need to do this for cssboss.com I only need to do it for 421 entertainment dot com if I want to do the same thing for andrewkaiser.com you know any other domain names that I have that I might point here I just set up this whole little I just do another array thing so then you type in the site URL and then you set it again at the home and you update file now when you uh, go to the website let's see here um, 421. There's a lot of people around here. Okay, so 421entertainment.com. And now let's hover over one of these. And now you can see this links to 421entertainment.com slash category slash tutorials. Clicking on it keeps us in 421entertainment.com. Now we are currently working on multiple domains. So we can change this to cssboss.com and it works just the same so there you have it now you have two domains pointing towards one WordPress installation and you uh, you pretty much can do unlimited and there's a lot of cool short codes that you can use to switch between the two things uh, check it out on wordpress.org just type in multi-domain up here I'll put a link down in the description and on my website and you just come right here and it's got all the uh, all the information on how to do everything, your short codes and whatnot, all that good stuff. Thanks a lot for watching guys. And make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, or hit me up if you have any other questions. Andrew Kaiser with CSSBoss.com. Peace out.